Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoStore.com. We're standing beside the uh, 1932 Ford Hot Rod, or the Ford Coupe Hot Rod. Um, earlier video we shared with you where we had a lot of progress with tail lights, marker lights, a lot of wiring was done, the front grille and fenders. And I mentioned in that video that we had um, finally received the rear fenders. We've bobbed them and trimmed them uh, for the correct look. And then um, uh, the guys and gal over in the, the paint division um, have the fenders. All the bodywork has been done. They've been fitted on and off the car two or three times to make sure the fit is correct. Um, and then they're, uh, they just painted them. So what we're going to do is just show you what it looks like without the rear fenders on. So the camera person can just kind of briefly come along the back here. Because there's a lot of people. There's so many different looks with these 32 Ford Coupes. Um, you know, a lot of guys like the open wheel stuff and the wide whites and different appearances. The client that owns this car uh, wants to go with, if the camera person keeps coming this way, um, and then you can have, the, you know, this, this open wheel look or then the, the closed fender look. So um, our client has chosen to go with the, uh, with the actual fenders and they fit almost perfect. There's quite a bit of work needed to be done. There's always some uh, work you have to do with the fiberglass because uh, you've got a fiberglass mold for the body and then obviously separate fiberglass molds for the fenders. Um, so quite a bit of work uh, they had to do to make sure the fit is right. So this is just kind of a before, just to give you an idea of what it looks like without the fenders on. And what we'll do is we'll cut away and I'll show you the two fenders because they're just going to be coming over from the booth before we install them. Okay, so now we're back with, uh, these are the actual fenders. So. They did a really nice job on them, as I mentioned earlier. They were fitted um, on and off the car two or three times. Uh, there was some body work that needed to be done from the molds because there's always a rippling look to them. And then this uh, section here that's facing me is going to be the uh, towards the front or towards the door. And then you can see where we've trimmed uh, the back part uh, for a cleaner look. So instead of having a long tail that comes out, uh, this has been trimmed and shaped, uh, so it'll give it quite a more of a sportier appearance kind of idea and closer to the look that our customer is after. And then you can see we've got the really nice ribbed uh, raised section in the actual fender flare. Uh, so that's our one side fender and obviously we have the other one over here. So uh, quite a bit of work. It never looks like much when you shoot a video and you say, look, it's all nice and shiny now. Um, but a lot of work on the fiberglass to get it smooth. Um, and it sounds like it's metal. So a lot of times um, some of the cheaper fenders that are out there, they have that, that really thin and, and they flex. These are very, very strong, very thick. Uh, and when they're on the car, uh, it'll fool a lot of people. They're gonna think it's uh, steel fenders. So in our next video, what we'll do is we'll share with you with these fenders installed on the car, we have a really nice finished beading that we're gonna set between because you often will get some flexing between the body and the fender. Uh, so similar to like say a Volkswagen uh, Beetle where they have a, a vinyl that slides or runs in between with a nice finished bead that's stitched or on Ford trucks, uh, they have the beading that goes between the body or the box side and the fender. So um, it'll give it a nice, nice finished look with the black beading and then it won't scrub over time between the body and the fender. So these are the fenders for the 1932 Ford Hot Rod. I thank you for watching. I'm John from Last Chance, AutoRestore.com.